The football world mourns the loss of Sir Bobby Charlton, a luminary whose legacy transcends the boundaries of sport. At 86 years old, Charlton's passing marks the end of an era, not only for England, but for the global football community. Renowned as arguably England's greatest footballer, Charlton's career is studded with remarkable achievements and moments of sheer brilliance. But what did his children reveal about him? Bobby Charlton's early life in Ashington, a rugged coal town in Northumberland, was steeped in football legacy and local lore. Born into a family with deep football roots, including the legendary Jackie Milburn as a cousin, Charlton's path seemed destined for the beautiful game. His childhood was filled with tales and influences from his football-playing uncles and the tough, enduring spirit of his minor father, known as Boxer, for his prowess in bare-knuckle fighting. Life in Beatrice Street was a mix of hardship and communal joy, where the slaughtering of a pig was a community event, and the scarcity of coal in a coal-rich town led families to gather sea coal from the beaches. This environment, marked by toughness and resourcefulness, shaped Charlton's early understanding of life's rigours and rewards. With his brother Jack, future fellow World Cup winner, Charlton experienced the joys of local football, idolising stars like Stanley Matthews and dreaming of emulating their footballing feats. Despite the local pull of Newcastle United, advice from family and the promise of a burgeoning career led him to look beyond, with Manchester City and Manchester United showing keen interest. Charlton's choice to join Manchester United under Matt Busby was pivotal. It was at Old Trafford, amidst a revolution in English football led by Busby's focus on style and youth, that Charlton found his second home and a new family in his teammates. His awe of Duncan Edwards, another prodigious talent at United, underscored the high standards he set for himself, blending ambition with the humility characteristic of his personality. This backdrop of Charlton's early life, with its blend of local tradition, family influence, and the formative touch of football, set the stage for his ascent in the world of football. His journey from the coal town of Ashington to the heights of international football is a testament to the enduring spirit of a boy who was born to grace the game with his extraordinary talent and character. Charlton's journey in football is storied, characterised by a blend of natural talent and an extraordinary life that saw him become a beacon of the beautiful game. With a career spanning 17 years in Manchester United's first team and a record of 758 appearances and 249 goals, his contribution to the club is monumental. His trophy cabinet, filled with three league titles, an FA Cup and a European Cup, speaks volumes of his success on the pitch. Beyond the club accolades, Charlton was a national icon, crowned England's Footballer of the Year in 1966, the same year he was named European Footballer of the Year. His international career was illustrious, with 106 caps and 49 goals, embodying the spirit and passion of English football. The pinnacle of his career was undoubtedly the 1966 World Cup victory, a triumph he shared with his brother Jack, etching both their names into football immortality. However, what truly set Charlton apart was the manner in which he played the game. He epitomised a rare combination of dynamism and elegance, pairing physical power with a finesse that made his style of play captivating. Charlton's on-field performances were a spectacle of explosive shots and graceful athleticism, often celebrated with his trademark modesty and sportsmanship. Sir Bobby Charlton was more than a footballer. He was a symbol of the values and integrity often associated with English football and culture. His fame extended beyond the shores of the UK, making the name Bobby Charlton a globally recognised emblem of footballing excellence. Manchester United's tribute to Charlton upon his passing reflects the profound impact he had, not just on the club, but on the sport as a whole. The footballing world has indeed lost one of its brightest stars, a legend whose legacy will continue to inspire future generations. Sir Bobby Charlton's name will forever resonate as a testament to the beautiful game and the remarkable life he led both on and off the pitch. Bobby Charlton's legacy extends far beyond his footballing prowess. He was a man of deep substance, shaped by profound experiences that transcended the realm of sport. His journey was one marked not just by his exceptional talent on the field, but by the serious life events he encountered, particularly the Munich air disaster. The shadow of the Munich air disaster loomed large over Bobby Charlton's life and career, an event that profoundly changed him at the tender age of 20. 
Under Matt Busby's visionary leadership, Manchester United had embraced the European stage, setting them on a tragic path to that fateful refuelling stop in Munich. The aftermath of the disaster saw Charlton grappling with a complex tapestry of emotions, from fleeting brushes with happiness to overwhelming waves of regret, sadness and guilt. His children often referred to this event as it changed his life and mindset completely. The rapid return to football, just three weeks post-tragedy, starkly contrasts with today's understanding of trauma and the necessity for healing time. Charlton's journey back home to Ashington with Jimmy Murphy, United's dedicated coach, was a silent testament to the unspoken agony and irreversible change inflicted upon him. The resilience Charlton displayed, continuing to play for United and England so soon after Munich, was nothing short of remarkable. Yet, despite his professional demeanour on the field, internally he wrestled with the appropriateness of joy, forever altered by the loss of his teammates. His subdued response to scoring against Scotland at Hampton Park revealed a deep-seated wariness of happiness, a poignant reminder of the young men who could no longer share in the triumphs of life and sport. The interactions Charlton had during this period, like the comforting sportsmanship from the Scottish goalkeeper Tommy Younger, were significant. They were moments that highlighted the broader football community's empathy and respect for his suffering. This compassionate gesture from the younger was emblematic of the unity and understanding that transcended national rivalries, leaving a lasting impression on Charlton and fostering his admiration for the character often found in Scots, a sentiment reinforced through his relationships with figures like Busby and Ferguson. Charlton's life narrative, woven with professional achievements and personal trials, was marked by an enduring undercolour of worry, as novelist Gordon Byrne aptly described. Yet, through it all, Charlton's journey was one of transformation and resilience, illustrating how profound loss and the passage of time can alter one's perspective and identity in the vast, unpredictable theatre of football and life. Despite the accolades and the global fame, Charlton remained grounded, often shying away from the limelight. His humility and the way he carried the burdens of his past endeared him even more to those who admired him from afar. It's no surprise that the legendary Pele described him as the spirit of football, encapsulating the profound impact Charlton had on the game and its followers. Charlton's story is intertwined with that of the Busby Babes, the young Manchester United team that captivated the football world in the 1950s with their exuberance and skill. Alongside talents like Duncan Edwards, Eddie Coleman and David Pegg, Charlton was at the heart of a team that brought joy and innovation to English football. However, the joyous journey was brutally interrupted by the Munich air disaster in 1958, a tragedy that took the lives of many of his teammates and left an indelible mark on Charlton's life. Surviving the crash physically, Charlton faced a long and painful emotional recovery. His return to football, swift by the standards of the time, masked an inner turmoil that was perhaps visible to those who looked closely. His later reflections on life, articulated in his autobiographies, reveal the depth of his pain and the resilience with which he faced the aftermath of the disaster. Charlton's narrative is not just a football story, but a human one, marked by triumphs and tragedies, joys and sorrows. His experiences, both glorious and grievous, paint a portrait of a man who was profoundly wounded by life, yet whose legacy in football and beyond remains unblemished. In remembering Charlton, we not only celebrate a football icon, but also a man who navigated the complexities of life with dignity, becoming a symbol of strength and grace in the face of adversity. The narrative of Bobby Charlton's life intertwined personal milestones with moments that underscored his widespread admiration and the idiosyncrasies of football culture. His marriage to Norma in 1961 not only marked a pivotal moment in his personal life, but also showcased the high regard in which he was held, evidenced by the unexpected wedding gift from Real Madrid's Santiago Bernabeu. The amusing anecdote of Bill Shankly's impromptu visit to Charlton's home in Cheshire reveals the informal yet passionate nature of football relations during that era. Shankly, the legendary Liverpool manager, symbolised the football community's reverence for Charlton, with even Norma being drawn into the camaraderie and respect that transcended club rivalries. These personal encounters, ranging from humorous to heartfelt, highlighted Charlton's significant stature in the football world, both as a player and a person. 
His friendships, like the one with Nobby Styles, added layers to his character, showcasing a man capable of profound joy and humor amidst the competitive intensity of professional football. The reconciliation with George Best and his brother Jack later in life pointed to the healing of past rifts, reflecting the evolving dynamics of personal and professional relationships over time. Yet, it was the enduring partnership with Norma, lasting nearly seven decades, that underscored Charlton's steadfast loyalty and his deep-seated connection to his roots, despite perceived family tensions. In the face of loss, as when mourning the death of his hero, Jackie Milburn, Charlton's desire for a celebratory remembrance rather than somber silence speaks volumes of his perspective on life and legacy. His spontaneous journey with Bob Stoko through the respectful yet quiet streets following Milburn's funeral encapsulated a wish to honour greatness, not with mournful silence, but with the resounding applause of a grateful and admiring public. In reflecting upon Charlton's death, perhaps the most fitting tribute is indeed applause, resonating with the joy and passion he brought to the game and to life itself. His story, marked by both ordinary and extraordinary chapters, commands a celebration of a remarkable journey filled with the essence of football and the profound experiences that shaped him into a beloved figure in the sport's history. Farewell to Sir Bobby Charlton, a man who lived a football life rich in both achievement and humanity, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of those who witnessed his journey.